All right, let's not kid each other. This is the star of the show, the Hair 2S, geared up with the wetsuit, and the Lunar Purple. It's my favorite color. And I'm using the smart controller with the Alien Mini antennas. These $19 antennas that go on the top after you've made the adjustment inside the smart controller. And here's the wind I'm dealing with. 12 to 15 mile an hour winds pretty pretty strong but I'm confident that I can get out there uh, far enough and so right here I'm exact where I want to be flying over the tree just like yesterday right over the tree top I'm looking good now slowly I'm gonna start to climb good right about here I'm gonna stop I'm gonna hover for a second I expect a high wind warning I gotta make a phone call okay I am over the pier any chance you see me <laughs> all right hold on I'm going to move forward a little bit, so see if you can see something moving in the sky. Okay, see me? Okay. Okay, I'm tired. Okay, you got it? All right, all right, thank you. Bye. Okay, after my phone call with my awkward spotting situation, I feel pretty comfortable heading out. They're following me. And at this point, at 5,000 feet, the last time I was out here, I got a series of warnings. I call it a panic series of warnings. And this time I didn't get it. I went right through that 5,000 feet. Now the only difference was I didn't stop and hover at the 5,000 foot distance level and I'm wondering if that made the difference so on the way back I'm gonna hover at the 5,000 foot level and see what happens so at this point I have my first week uh, signal I'm at 8,000 feet I'm comfortable with that my mission was basically 6,000 so 8,000 was a complete success and at this point I'm just turning around so at this point, I'm just basically flying back, thinking I have made my mission and everything is going to be easy from here. And all of a sudden, I see the bars have gone to two bars, and I'm watching it. And I realize it's basically a weak signal. And so as I'm getting closer, I get the weak signal adjust antennas which surprised me but right here is the panic sequence the exact same sequence of events that took place at the same 5,000 foot level uh, distance at the same 5,000 foot distance and that was the same thing that happened to me yesterday on the way out and I concluded that that panic series of warnings right there was all part of this warning that's coming up right here so in other words that whole series of events is connected to this warning so now I get the drone will force land when the battery level is critical and I'm on the return to home yeah so at this point because it went to the return to home automatically it's just in some type of help menu that's showing me a lot of uh, light bulbs and from here on out it's easy uh, there aren't any issues and uh, I go ahead and land okay so this was yesterday's flight and I have it in slow motion and so here I am at 5100 feet out and I'm in a hover position and I was checking to make sure I was good and at this point I'm down to two bars the same is what my last one was 
notice what happens right here weak signal aircraft not connected to RC and boom this warning so I'm thinking that all these are connected because I just had it happen going out and then I had it happen on the second flight coming back so these signals right here are connected now what does that mean well it means a lot of things it means that when you see these type of uh, warnings I guess they should be taken pretty serious I think that's what we've learned that even though it's telling me one thing it really means something completely different and that is that somebody has programmed this particular area right here for total chaos so what this means is when I'm on a boat or the jet ski and I'm in an area where I think I'm safe to fly the drone the reality is that there are these Bermuda Triangle areas that can really cause a lot of panic and havoc uh, to the drone and so I think I'm going to take these warnings a little bit more seriously and just consider that when they come up that really that's the end of the road.